Hey YouTube, my name is Avi, aka Clash Playhouse. Today we're going to be doing episode one of Sir Puffington. Sir Puffington, I took to from Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 10 today on stream, made a ton of progress. Thank you, Supercell, for all of those wonderful magic items we're getting. Um, spent around 5,000 gems today, used all of our magic items, the ones that we had stored, plus the ones we had gotten from the uh, season challenges. And here's what we did today. Um, first of all, my progress base. Let me show you my progress base. It's different from most people's progress base. What I do is I put everything that's elixir, everything that you buy with elixir, I put on top. Everything that you purchase with gold, you put on the bottom. Uh, traps are separated from the resources, which is also separated from the defenses. Uh, and then I have my heroes over here, and here's my walls. Normally I have my walls all in a row and continuing the line of walls, but I do have these couple of walls that I still have to do. Um, these are my, these are the new walls that I've already upgraded to level 8, and now we just got to get them all up. Did some of the level 11 walls today. I want to show you what I did today as a brand new town hall. Yes, I do have a level 50 queen already. Again, thank you Supercell for those magic items. Uh, I'm sorry, level 40 queen. Um, but here's the attacks that I took today on stream. Um, as you can see, three star, three star, three star. We did have a time flower over there and another flower over there, 97, 100. So I just want to take a live attack, show you what I'm doing over here. Very, very easy attack to use. I highly, highly recommend at Town Hall 10 to be using Queen Walk Miners. Uh, my own personal theory on farming is I don't, I don't stay in low in a low trophy range on purpose just to get loot. I'd rather use an army that's a war army, something that I could use in war. This way I'm always getting practice. I can always, you know, get better, be able to, you know, if you farm with it, you learn how to adjust. And, you know, it just works out. So let's take a let's take a live attack and see what we can find. Whoa. First base. First base, 1.3 million in resources. Um, let's see, where am I going to go in from? Where am I going to go in from? We got the main things that you want to take care of when you're doing Queen Walk Miners. You want to take care of the CC. At Town Hall 10, you just got to take care of the CC. That's pretty much it. CC and make some pathing for your miners. So I am going to start... Uh, I'm gonna start from. I'm gonna start from the bottom over here, and work my way up this board. Let's get the queen out there. Let's get a funnel created for the queen. Drop those healers for the queen. Keep her up. Funnel has been created on one side. Got the wall break we wanted. Queen's going to enter in, keeping an eye on her, making sure she doesn't need that rage. As we get closer and closer to the defenses, if she can't get her health back by herself. And getting a little bit low for my liking. Let's get that queen ro rocking and rolling. Uh, let's put the king. There was nothing in the CC. Let's put the king out there. Let's put the giant over there. Let's get that wrecker going in. Ah, I tried to get the queen inside. And let's get those miners moving. No, queen, don't go back out. Don't go outside. <laughs> She's going to go outside and then come back in. We got all of our troops going. Let's get a uh, little heal spell over here. Queen should follow that wrecker in. There we go. Now we're working out. Queen lost her healers. King stole those healers. Let's get those piggies out there. Some back end wizards. Take care of that stuff on the outside. Keep those troops focused on what's in the middle. 
and that should be a triple. And this is pretty much all I'm doing right now with uh, with Town Hall 10. It's a great, great strategy at the beginning of Town Hall 10. You know, just getting those getting those um, getting those heroes right up. Most important thing, it's it's a big difference between a level 30 queen and a level 40 queen. You want to try and work on that. <clears throat> um, I'll show you some replays from today. Here is, let's go into this replay, and I'll try and explain what I did in this replay. Uh, here's a base over here. Queen actually went the wrong way on this one. I wanted the queen originally to go up towards, up towards 12 o'clock, come around this base, but she didn't. So I'll show you what I did to fix it up. Queen's dealing with a couple of those things, a couple of those defenses over there. I got the queen into this section with a, did I wall break around? Did I use my wall breakers? Let me see what I did over here. Drop that giant, wanted to take that, tank that uh, single target inferno for my queen. Get the queen inside. Oh, I didn't use my wall breakers on this one. Queen goes in there, she takes out the single target Inferno, opens up a hole. Queen should be able to follow in there. She's gonna drop my king over at King over at three o'clock. And drop my miners in between three and six. And the queen should meet up with those miners and start doing some damage. There goes the miners, making sure the line is wide enough to take care of everything on the outside. King is doing some tanking. A giant bomb did go off, so I did drop a heal spell. Single target on the queen. Wait till the last possible second and then use a queen's ability. Let those troops go in. I always have a couple of hogs that I use for just in case or as if when the king's tanking those hot when the king is tanking on the outside and those defenses are on them and the miners are not up to the up to the up to the king yet then i will drop them in and just like that another triple we get we're getting triples on stream all day long every triple gives out puffs um i don't know come on by stream and have some fun with everybody